Welcome to our podcast episode on Belgium. Belgium is a small country located in Western Europe, bordered by the Netherlands, Germany, Luxembourg, and France. It has a total area of about 30,000 square miles, making it roughly the size of the state of Maryland in the United States. Belgium has a population of around 11 million people, and its official languages are Dutch, French, and German. Despite its small size, Belgium has a rich and diverse history, culture, and politics. In this episode, we will delve into all of these aspects of the country and learn more about what makes Belgium unique. Stay tuned! Belgium has a long and complex history that dates back to ancient times. During the medieval period, the region that is now Belgium was part of the Holy Roman Empire and was ruled by a series of feudal lords. In the late 13th century, the area came under the control of the Duchy of Burgundy, which was an influential state in Europe at the time. In the 16th century, Belgium became part of the Spanish Netherlands, and it remained under Spanish rule until the early 18th century. During this time, Belgium was a prosperous region, known for its trade and cultural achievements. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, Belgium played a key role in the Napoleonic Wars and the rise of nationalism in Europe. In 1830, Belgium declared its independence from the Netherlands and became a sovereign nation. Over the next several decades, Belgium underwent rapid industrialization and developed into a modern democracy. Today, Belgium is a federal parliamentary democracy and a member of the European Union. It has a vibrant economy and is known for its high standard of living, as well as its rich cultural heritage. Belgium has a long and complex history that dates back to ancient times. During the medieval period, the region that is now Belgium was part of the Holy Roman Empire and was ruled by a series of feudal lords. In the late 13th century, the area came under the control of the Duchy of Burgundy, which was an influential state in Europe at the time. In the 16th century, Belgium became part of the Spanish Netherlands, and it remained under Spanish rule until the early 18th century. During this time, Belgium was a prosperous region, known for its trade and cultural achievements. In the late 18th and early 19th centuries, Belgium played a key role in the Napoleonic Wars and the rise of nationalism in Europe. In 1830, Belgium declared its independence from the Netherlands and became a sovereign nation. Over the next several decades, Belgium underwent rapid industrialization and developed into a modern democracy. Today, Belgium is a federal parliamentary democracy and a member of the European Union. It has a vibrant economy and is known for its high standard of living, as well as its rich cultural heritage. Belgium is a small country located in Western Europe, bordered by the Netherlands, Germany, Luxembourg, and France. It has a total area of about 30,000 square miles, making it roughly the size of the state of Maryland in the United States. Belgium has a varied geography, with a range of landscapes and environments. The country has a flat coastal plain in the northwest, which is home to the major port city of Antwerp. In the center of the country, there is a central plateau, which is mostly agricultural land. The Ardennes region in the southeast is a hilly, forested area that is popular for outdoor recreation. Belgium has a temperate maritime climate, with cool winters and mild summers. The country receives moderate amounts of precipitation throughout the year. Belgium has several major cities, including its capital, Brussels, which is also the capital of the European Union. Other major cities in Belgium include Antwerp, Ghent, and Charleroi. These cities are known for their rich history, cultural attractions, and vibrant urban life. Belgium has a rich and diverse culture that has been influenced by a variety of historical and geographical factors. The country is home to a number of cultural traditions, including art, music, literature, and food. Belgium has a long tradition of artistic excellence, and the country has produced many famous artists, including the surrealist painter René Magritte and the sculptor Auguste Rodin. The country is also home to a number of world-class museums, such as the Royal Museums of Fine Arts of Belgium in Brussels. Belgium has a thriving music scene, with a variety of genres and styles. 
The country is particularly known for its electronic and dance music, and it has played host to a number of major music festivals. Belgium has a rich literary tradition, with many famous writers and poets hailing from the country. Belgian literature is written in a variety of languages, including Dutch, French, and German. Belgium is also known for its delicious cuisine, which is influenced by both French and Dutch culinary traditions. Some of the country's most famous dishes include Belgian waffles, fries, and chocolate. Belgium is also home to a number of world-class breweries, and it is known for its high-quality beers. Belgium is a federal parliamentary democracy, with a constitutional monarchy as its form of government. The country is divided into three regions, Flanders, Wallonia, and Brussels, and three linguistic communities, Dutch, French, and German. The head of state in Belgium is the king or queen, who holds ceremonial duties and serves as a unifying figure for the nation. The head of government is the prime minister, who is responsible for leading the government and overseeing the administration of the country. Belgium has a multi-party system, with a number of political parties representing a range of ideological viewpoints. The major political parties in Belgium include the Christian Democratic and Flemish Party, the Socialist Party, and the Liberal Party. Belgium holds regular elections to choose its representatives at the federal, regional, and local levels. The most recent federal elections were held in May 2019, and the incumbent Prime Minister, Alexander de Croo, was able to form a coalition government. The next federal elections are scheduled to take place in 2024. Belgium is a small, developed country with a diverse and dynamic economy. It has a GDP of around $500 billion, making it one of the wealthiest countries in Europe. Belgium's economy is highly industrialized and service-oriented, with a strong focus on exports. The country's major industries include manufacturing, transportation, and financial services. Some of Belgium's key exports include machinery, chemicals, and finished diamonds. Belgium is a member of the European Union and the Eurozone, and it has strong trade ties with other countries in the region. Its major trade partners include Germany, France, and the Netherlands. Belgium has a high standard of living, with a per capita GDP that is among the highest in the world. The country has a well-developed social welfare system and a high level of social mobility. Unemployment in Belgium is relatively low, and the country has a well-educated workforce. Thank you for listening to our podcast episode on Belgium. We hope you have learned something new about this fascinating country and its rich history, culture, politics, and economy. In summary, Belgium is a small country located in Western Europe, with a diverse and dynamic society. It has a long and complex history, and it is home to a range of cultural traditions, including art, music, literature, and food. Belgium has a federal parliamentary democracy, with a multi-party system and regular elections. Its economy is highly industrialized and service-oriented, with a strong focus on exports. If you enjoyed this episode and want to learn more about Belgium, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Thank you again for listening.